Alright, welcome to the Dorm Tech video on how we made our server for under $400. So, let's get started. I'll give you a rundown of the hardware, where we bought it, how it performs, and what we use it for. So, get ready. <music> So, what do we have in the box? First of all, we've got two Intel Xeon X5460 quad-core CPUs. Each core is clocked at 3.1 GHz. These CPUs were released in 2006, and we were able to snatch them for a pretty good bargain at about $20 a piece. These CPUs have served us quite well, and their eight cores with both of them have um, really helped us using a lot of VMs and whatnot. Um, we also have 24 gigabytes of server-grade DDR2 RAM, and as you can see, we filled every single RAM slot on the motherboard, and we have absolutely no problems with memory whatsoever, so that has been very good for us. Our motherboard here is a super micro motherboard with um, dual bit networking, and so this motherboard has served us very well, and we have, as you can see, PCIe slots. We have 16x, 116x slot, and two 8x slots. We also have original PCI. There are six SATA ports on this motherboard. Sadly, there were no SAS ports, but for us, that has not been a problem. Um, as far as hard drives go, we have a 120 gigabyte Kingston boot SSD right here. And we also have five 500 gigabyte enterprise hard drives. And these are all server rated hard drives and we have them in a RAID array. So that way if we lose one or two drives, we don't have to worry about losing all of our data. Next we have our 500 watt EVGA PSU. And this is 80 plus certified, so it's very power efficient. And although we would usually use a more powerful power supply for this. We found this for a really good bargain and it provides just the right amount of power for this case. If we were to put anything more in this case it might not work so well but so far it's worked very well and since it's 80 plus certified we know that we're running well. Um, as our case goes we have the Cougar Solution and the Cougar Solution case was about $40. It's a phenomenal deal and we have, so far we've absolutely loved this case. It's actually made for gaming computers, but it fit the server motherboard quite well. And we have not had any problems with it so far. It looks nice, it performs nicely, it's got good airflow, so there are no complaints there. So now I'm going to explain how we got these parts and how cheap they were and why we were able to build this wonderful computer for under $400. Um, first of all, our motherboard, RAM, and CPUs were all bought used on eBay. And what's going on right now with server parts is that people are upgrading their servers to newer and better technologies. And as this new wave of technology comes in, people are selling their older server parts, which are still perfectly fine for consumer grade work and some smaller business grade work, off for very cheap prices. So, our motherboard cost us about $40. Our RAM cost us also about $40 for the full 24 gigabytes. And both of our CPUs ran us about 50 bucks, and that included shipping with all of these items. So really we got some pretty phenomenal deals on these things, especially for the um, power involved in those CPUs and the functionality of the motherboard. Um, our case, power supply, and boot drive were all from Amazon or Newegg. And Newegg and Amazon usually have pretty similar prices on these, so if you were to build one of these, I would compare prices between the two websites before you consider buying. Um, our, like I said, the Cougar Solution case has served us very well, and that was about $40. The power supply was also $40, and, as no surprise, the boot SSD was also $40. So, around the $40 mark is pretty much where a lot of your parts are going to fall. Um, we got our hard drives from a place called PC Servers and Parts, and you can go to their website at pcserviceandparts.us. They also have an eBay store. And we actually decided to use local pickup for these, but you wouldn't have to. They have phenomenal, custo phenomenal customer service, and they're um, really a fantastic group of people. We're, we were not paid to um, advertise these people at all, but we had such a wonderful experience with them that we decided that we might as well recommend them for other people to um, buy from, because they're, um, they also offer really good deals. And so all, of our, um, all five of our 500 gigabyte hard drives here ran us $75 all together. And these are all server grade and they all function perfectly the moment we put them in the case. So we are um, very satisfied with that order. So why would you want to build a server in your dorm, your house, or your apartment? Well, we'll tell you why. And we'll tell you what we use it for. First of all, we use this to house VMs. And basically a VM or a virtual machine is a virtual computer that can run on a desktop. And right now we have six VMs running on this. And we have 
Windows VMs, we have OS X VMs, we have Ubuntu VMs, and since we have six VMs, we, um, we definitely have enough processing power and enough RAM to handle what they need, and we can use them for all sorts of different purposes because we have so many different operating systems on the same box, which is really a fantastic way to complete different tasks. We have Server 2012 R2 as our logon server and file server, and then we have Windows 10 for background downloading if we have updates that we want to download for different things, if we want to download video files or whatnot, large files in particular, we can use this VM to download in the background while all of our other computers still work perfectly fine. And then we have six other VMs for various tasks depending on what we want to accomplish at the time. Right now for our software overall, we're using Unraid Server Basic, which is a hypervisor server um, operating system which allows you to run VMs extremely easily. Um, we also use this, we use our RAID array to back up our boot drives to our computers and to back up some of our other drives with important information on them so that way if one of these dies we still have all of our information and we don't have to worry about our computers completely being destroyed because of a data wipe. Um, now this has a lot of similar application as one of those personal cloud, WD personal cloud, um, WD passport things that you might see at an electronics store. But the reason that this is a much better solution is because it's more powerful and you can actually use it as a computer or multiple computers. It's scalable, it's customizable, and it has all server grade hardware so it's not going to break on you as quickly as one of those WD Passport things would. So, we're going to tell you more about Unraid and why we're using Unraid on this server. First of all, I'll tell you about Unraid is a, um, like I said, a hypervisor OS that allows you to run multiple VMs very easily. And this is made by a company called LimeTech. We are running the um, basic server version, and a license key for this costs only $40, compared to much more expensive solutions from other manufacturers. Um, we have had a few problems with Unraid, but they have been mostly our fault, and their customer service was absolutely fantastic and helped us sort out the issue very easily. Um, our problem was that we didn't assign the correct ports to Unraid on our router, and so we were getting a lot of network bottlenecking, but as long as you know what you're doing with the ports and you remember to assign the correct port to Unraid on your router, you should be perfectly fine you won't have to worry about it. The only problems with this software other than that are no access to CPU temperature sensors, just hard drive temperature, and it uses RAID 4, 0, or 10, but you don't, you're not able to use RAID 5. Which, for most things, that's perfectly okay, and we have not had a problem with that, but if you really, really want to use RAID 5, then Unraid might not be the solution for you. Now, the pros of Unraid are the fact that it's very easy to make VMs. You pretty much just select the ISO that you want to use, and it'll immediately boot up the VM for you, and you'll be running in no time. Um, it also has support for plugins, such as BitTorrent Sync, which would basically allow us to use this as almost a, um, it's like a wireless file storage. So almost like Google Drive or any cloud storage based application except it's all stored on our own hard drives and we don't have to worry about other companies or um, other people reading our information. Um, also as a bonus to Unraid, it has a very nice looking GUI and we've found it quite easy to use. So I'd say that Unraid was a pretty good choice and for the price it's a um, fantastic way to run multiple VMs off of one machine. So, let's take a look at how this computer performs. As you can see from the chart here, we're getting full gigabit speed, and since this is a dual gigabit motherboard, more than one person is able to use this server and to use the gigabit connections on this server without any slowdown. So that's really a fantastic selling point. So, this server has performed very well for us, and we were very impressed with it. For around $325, we were, we were able to buy all of the parts, and so far none of them have had any major errors or any problems, so we, um, we really think we hit the jackpot on this one, and you probably could too. Um, so I guess this is the end of our video. Remember to like and subscribe if you want more. Also, please leave suggestions in the comments section for any ideas you want us to show in either our Dorm Tech channel or our friend Chad Gasket. If you have an idea for him, be careful, because he'll do just about anything. But leave us a comment and we'll tell him if we find something that he might want to uh, film. Um, if you want to see some uh, Powerline networking reviews, then remember to subscribe and keep on living.